What exactly, is a SIM card? You know the little piece of plastic, found in the metal pullout on your phone? The short answer is. It's a subscriber identity module. A small circuit board in most modern phones to communicate with your carrier, that acts as your unique ID, so that you can connect. Make calls and be charged for using a particular mobile phone network. There are two types of mobile phones that are available to the consumers. First one is GSM and another one is CDMA. GSM phones are the ones that utilize SIM cards while CDMA phones do not. SIM cards are the small cards, which contains a chip, that must be inserted into GSM phones before they will work. Without a SIM card, a GSM phone won't be able to tap into any mobile network. A SIM card is internationally identified by its integrated circuit card identifier, which is engraved on the body of the card. It is also identified by the carrier, with its International Mobile Subscriber Identity IMSI. Essentially, these two numbers tell the carrier, that your phone is allowed to operate on its network and, once connected, should be billed for certain features. Let's talk how a SIM card authentication is done. When you turn on your phone, your phone sends the IMSI ID number, along with the authentication key, to the cell network provider. The network generates a random number, A, and signs it with the authentication key to create response number XYZ, at the same time. Then, the phone receives, A, and forwards it to the SIM card and same process is done with the authentication key to generate another response number, B, by the SIM card. If the network's number, A, matches the SIM card's number, B, then the SIM card is declared legal, and access is granted. This data not only determines which network to connect to, but also acts as the login credentials, which allow a phone to use said network. For this reason, SIM cards are actually quite convenient when it comes to switching phones. Since your subscriber data, is on the card itself, you can plug the SIM into a different phone, and all will be well. SIM cards are also capable of storing other information, such as, contact list data, and SMS messages. Most SIM cards have a capacity between 32 to 128 kilobytes. Now, let's talk about locked SIMs. What are, locked SIMs? Technically, the GSM phone, is the entity that s locked. Not the SIM card. In practice, GSM carriers can implement software on phones, such that a particular phone will only accept a designated SIM card, from a particular network. If the phone, and SIM card do not match up, the phone won't operate, this is what it means when a phone is, locked. Unlocking a phone then, is the process of removing this limitation, such that, a phone can accept SIM cards from other networks. If you ever plan on selling your phone, this is an important consideration. Since the buyer won't be able to use it, unless it has been unlocked. Similarly, if you've bought, or been gifted, a locked phone, it will most likely need to be unlocked, before you can use it. So guys that was all about SIM cards. Please press the like button, if you like this video and don't forget to share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.